We're recording music for the second season of Bad Women, which is about the Blackout Ripper. It's all set in wartime London, 1942, and lots of the action takes place in the kind of nightclubs, jazz bars of Soho and the West End. So what we really want to evoke is that atmosphere. A lot of the time, there's me in the studio with virtual instruments. So what's so great about this is getting real human beings into the room and, and moving air, so to speak. Is there any alternate, I mean, obviously to the jum, 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 jum? Can, we, can you sort of spread it? Imagine that the crowd has got quite a bit noisier and you're going to belt the tune out because you, you, okay. you played it a bit more up and out on the second time, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Often in the show, we're, we're diving in and out of these clubs. And so while I'll be writing some underscore for some of the more kind of, you know, sinister areas, it's really great that we get a real live music feel of you know, what London might have been like at that time, and also with the sort of slight influence of some of the American jazz players coming in. Nick, are you happy? Cool, yeah. Great. All right, cool. What I'm hoping to do with this is sometimes we might be literally in a nightclub and listening to this band play, so we'll treat it to sound like, you know, there'll be crowds. I was trying to get them to kind of imagine, you know, a lot of drunk people or um, general mayhem around them. They just wanted the feel of a live band working together and hearing each other. Because, you know, the mistakes are beautiful. These bands would have been playing in front of crowds and they might be half pissed themselves, you know. So things falling apart, things bending a bit, being out of tune. Those are all the lovely human qualities that you get when you come in a studio with people. There'll be those live story moments like that, where we are traveling, but then also I want to use this as part of the underscore. So, for instance, you know, there could be an area in this where a tune kind of breaks down to the bass, and the bass just carries on, and then we get some weird synth sounds or some, you know, orchestral stuff or bombs in the background. And then we, you know, in that way, we can, we can weave the band in and out of the structure of the story. One of the things we've got to try and think about is how do you make something sound like it was kind of 1942 London? Because the reality is if you walked into a restaurant in 1942, it probably wouldn't sound much different to you know, what a restaurant sounds like now. And yet to our ears now, if you hear a nice, a beautifully recorded restaurant, it's not going to take you back to the 40s. So there's quite a lot of degrading, if you like, some of the material so that it tricks people into thinking, oh, well, it sounds like it might have been recorded back then. Therefore, we are back then, you know. So there'll be a bit of that with the band as well, trying to maybe, maybe at times sticking it on a gramophone just to give it a feel of the period. That's a wrap. All right. Thank you very much, chaps. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. brilliant. Are you happy, Nick? Great. That's everything, everything I wanted to do. Listen to Bad Women, The Blackout Ripper, wherever you get your podcasts.